Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room where there's a huge stack of fabric, and there's more fabric here, and there's other stuff all around. <laughs> it's kind of getting cluttered, even though I spent part of this week cleaning up in here because I was just tired of tripping over things on the floor, you know? This is a relatively small space in here. A uh, beautiful big table, but it takes up most of the room, so. Yeah, the sacks we make, oh my goodness, first world sewing problems. You know what, I'm so thankful to have a dedicated room, I cannot even tell you. Okay, let me just get on with what I finished this week and what I'm working on. First up, I finished McCall 7871, yay! The angels are singing, I'm telling you what. This pattern has been giving me trouble and this is the third time that I've tried something in it and it was a huge success. I'll tell you about it in its own video, but I gotta say, I finally did it in a woven fabric rather than the knits that it calls for and what a difference. Works just fine. I don't say that about a lot of things that call for knits and then um, when you use completely different kind of fabric that doesn't always work but in this case it worked and i'm really pleased so i've got it up on instagram if you want to see it there but i'm going to talk about it in its own video so I finished that i also finished up mccall's 6545 which is vintage 1993 i'm pretty sure yes and i have it right here it's not completely done yet because it does need some buttons, but I'm gonna talk about it in its own video. So this was a pretty easy, straightforward pattern. My only uh, worry about this is that this collar, which is, you can see, is very wavy and flouncy. It's a flounce, but this is a quilting cotton, so it kind of wants to stand up a lot. So, like I say, I'll talk about that later. Um, let's see, I also got started on swimsuit making, and uh, that's kind of why I look like I do right now. This is my swimsuit cover-up that was a frugal frock that I made, but I wanted to make a muslin, and I had some lycra spandex that I had gotten at Joanne Fabrics when they were, it was kind of like a going out of business sale. They were moving the store, and so they were getting rid of all the inventory. So anyway, I had some of that around and I had clear elastic, which is readily available at pretty much anywhere that you go that has sewing supplies. So I thought I'd give it a try, see how I'm gonna like this before my good fabric, my um, spandex that I ordered comes in, which should be actually later today. And I also ordered some uh, elastic, but I finished up my muslin. This is Jolly. 3134, it is their racerback, uh, women's racerback swimsuit. And it truly is a racerback, you can tell. I think it came out amazingly well. I think I still have some work to do on uh, elastic, um, but I'm really pleased. I think I can't wait to get in the pool today and try this out in the water and see how it performs. I used a double needle for some of the top stitching and I used um, clear elastic, like I said, and you know, it went together really fast. I was really surprised. I basically made this yesterday and hmm, really surprised. Um, but the thing that takes all the time is the elastic and because uh, you, there are methods to put it in, which I'll talk about when I do my collaboration with Maudie from Maudie Sews. I'm really looking forward to that because I am not just going to make a racing suit, I'm also gonna make a two-piece suit. We'll see. We'll see if I wanna model it for you. Um, I guess I'll have to because all I have are dress forms that don't have like legs. <laughs> so it's gonna have to be me. Just keep in mind that I am like ancient old and uh, yeah, five kids and uh, whatever. 
Um, for that, I'm going to use McCall's 5400, which is a pattern from 2007. But I really like the way it's done. I like um, View E, and I think it's going to be really cute, and especially because it's a little bit longer. And the bottoms on this, there are some hipster bottoms, but I want mine to come up and hide a multitude of Reese peanut butter cups. <laughs> so I'm going to use McCall's 7417 for the bottoms. I got this pattern because I was teaching swimming at the time and I was freezing because the sun would go down and although the water was heated at the YMCA where I was teaching little kids, uh, man, it would get cold. So um, I needed a rash guard. I needed some kind of a shirt that I could put on because believe it or not, even though you're wet, if it's made of lycra, it does keep you warmer. So anyway, those are coming up and I'll talk about those more when I talk about my collab with Maddie. She, by the way, has been having huge success with her swimsuits. And she has a video out on how to make a reversible swimsuit. So you'll have to give that a look. Uh, let me talk about all this fabric I got. I went to Goodwill yesterday. I never find fabric at Goodwill, but I did find linens. And actually, this time I found fabric. Who knew? I um, also stopped at Hobby Lobby to get some clear elastic for swimsuits. And I ran across some clearance fabric there. So, yeah, even though I'm not a person that goes to, you know, like Fabric Mart and, you know, all the online places, I don't generally shop those places. Now, the spandex by the yard place, I did shop because I needed a specific fabric. But, you know, I'm a huge believer in recycling textiles. I just think that that's such a great idea and such a great use and reuse of things that would normally just kind of languish or get thrown away. I just, I'm a firm believer in that. I found this on sale at Hobby Lobby. It is a chambray with a stripe and it's just, I think it's all cotton. And it, you know, it's the color I love and it's a cute stripe. And actually, when I saw it, I immediately thought of this pattern, which I just recently got, Simplicity 9136. And of course, I thought of it because this is the blue version of the fabric that the model is wearing. But I just think that that idea is so cute with that stripe. And I looked all through my stash to find a stripe that was similar and I don't know, I didn't find anything. And you don't have to do it, obviously, like it's done on the pattern, but I just saw this and I love chambray. I love this color. So this is going to become that. Uh, found some sheets and I love sheets because they can be made into muslins, but they can also be made into, you know, anything you want, basically. I've been um, using them for nightgowns um, I've used them for skirts and tops. So always a good thing to check your linens. And you know, I know many of you do when you go to Goodwill, but they're not just good for muslins. They're also good for, you know, any kind of garment you wanna make. This, um, I don't remember what size it is, but I really liked the pattern. And it's just this very, very pale blue with gray. And it's really soft. I think it's a microfiber, feels like a microfiber. And you know how microfiber is, it's always soft. So I really like this pattern because I think that, you know, I could make something really pretty out of this, probably a dress. But dresses uh, out of microfiber are going to be really nice and cool. So, you know, a nice sundress, that would be good. I found this set, this is a uh, twin size set and it's just classic, classic sheets. Um, so pretty and I will probably use this for a nightgown all things considered although you know this would make a really pretty top so I don't know I might do that it would be really cute as um, a tank and some pajama bottoms too although I don't generally I don't wear those I like nightgowns so I don't wear um, like a tank and bottoms but 
This would be really cute for that too. I also found this. This is Martha Stewart twin size sheets. Um, I got the um, fitted and the flat sheet. Same with this one. And I always cut the elastic off because these are, you know, they're just, you never know what you're going to be able to use them for. So always good to keep those. So this is Martha Stewart and I just loved the pattern on it. I just think that's so pretty. It's kind of a, a dusty rose color with some pink and green and yellow. I just fell in love with the print. So um, this also will make a cute sundress. So I'm sure I'll be doing that with that. Then I found fabric. I couldn't believe it, fabric. So I found this um, knit. Uh, it's either a poly cotton interlock or uh, a poly interlock, but I love the color. It looks like denim. I just think this is great. And there are four yards of this. And this was in a package with this. This is a great big old stack of it. And then it also had a couple of little pieces in there. But this is a knit with some texture. You can, I don't know if you can see that texture. It's got kind of a stripe going through with, um, it's just, yeah, it's a stripe uh, woven in, but it's also a poly cotton knit and four yards of that. I can't believe it. Man, I just really did well. And you know what this would be perfect for? I made that little sundress out of this top that um, was Simplicity 6069. It was a vintage pattern and I did it in a navy kind of a nautical feel. I need 10 more of those. And so, yeah, I think this would work really nicely for that. So a lot of fabric and this stack, eight yards and a couple of little pieces was $5. Holy moly, mm, can't believe it. Then I also got this and this is also a knit. It's like a poly cotton knit, but with a little bit of, um, an eyelet texture. It's got, um, it's like this. You can kind of see. It's got a little bit of a pattern woven through. And look at that pink. That's that baby pink color that I adore. I just love this color. And again, four yards. I was just flabbergasted. To be honest, I couldn't believe that I found fabric. <laughs> I never find fabric at Goodwill. So, yeah, I really, really did well yesterday. I am going to be working on a couple of things this week because I have um, a trip coming up on, well, it's a week from today. Um, I'm going to fly up and see my parents. I didn't get to see them at Christmas. And so it's probably been a good nine months since I've seen them. Maybe not that long. I think I saw them last September. But you know, with COVID, we just haven't been able to, you know, figure it out. And so they're in good shape now, we're in good shape now, and so I'm gonna fly up and see them. And when I do, I'm going to take a few Christmas presents with me. And one of them is a nightgown and a robe for my mama, because I love her. This I actually did buy at Joann's. And it's, uh, this is gonna be the robe and this will be the nightgown. It is a double brushed polyester and oh my gosh, it's so soft. I'm going to use Butterick 5963. And I think I'm going to make the full length robe, but I'm gonna um, make view D on the nightgown, but I'm gonna cut it off like right around the knee probably a little bit longer than the knee uh, because I don't think she would like a floor length uh, gown. I do know she'd like a gown though. So I'm gonna work on that. And then I'm also going to work on a surprise for my little sister. I uh, have not always had a great relationship with her, but in recent years, we have gotten a little bit closer. And when she was very young, she's eight years younger than me. And so when she was very young, she loved the TV show Flipper. Do you remember Flipper? You probably don't, but Flipper was a big deal to her when she was very, very young. 
Well, back then, I made her for Christmas one year a flipper stuffed animal. And I got some flannel and I couldn't find the right gray. So I actually dyed the flannel and uh, she loved that thing. She kept that thing until it fell apart. So I was uh, on Facebook, uh, I don't know, back before Christmas and I said something about, you know, trying to get Christmas sewing done and she said, well, I would like a flipper if you ever get around to it. I know she never in a million years would expect me to make her another flipper, but I went online on Etsy and I found the original pattern that I had used. So I ordered it and it is Simplicity 5778 and here's flipper so I got that and then I got I got all this ready for Christmas and then we didn't end up going up there at Christmas so I want to finish this I cut it all out I this is um, kind of a, it's it's like a plush oh, what's the word I want fleece but it's almost like crushed velvet too so I liked it because it's got all this dimension when you turn it in the light so this pattern is old and uh, I just I want to get that done and get that ready for her when I go up there I don't know if I'll see her but yeah It'll be a fun surprise. I love giving gifts to people, especially when it's something that I know that they're gonna love. Yeah, so I have to get busy. I've got to get this cut out tonight and then get going on it because I don't wanna rush up to the last minute, even though I'm kind of infamous for that. But um, I am going to take my big suitcase when I go so that I will have lots of room to pack vintage patterns and also the fabric that I find when I go to the scrap exchange. Man, I cannot wait to do that. I'm just, I'm looking so forward to that. I have some work ahead of me. So, so let me know what you're up to this week. Um, lots of good things coming up in terms of challenges on Instagram. I am one of the ambassadors for the So Maxi for Mother's Day. I'll leave a link in the description box for Instagram posts that have a lot of details on that and I'll talk to you about that in another video. I'm always saying that, aren't I? I'll talk to you about that in another video, but you know, Friday is a catch-up day, so I tend to want to throw things out there. So, I think that is just about it for now for me. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.